And we'll start off tonight with a question on email from Golden. She says, I tried to explain during our Bible study in church that God's discipline is not punishment, but instead to make us better and stronger for the future. But they are teaching fear God and that we are being chastised. I explained, uh, they say it's for our sins. I explained that God put all of his anger and wrath upon Jesus on the cross. Uh, Please help me so that I can uh, uh, talk to them further. Well, Golden, uh, first, I think you're doing a great job. I think you're doing a great job already. And the point that you've made, the biggest point of all, is that Jesus Christ already took the punishment for our sins. Uh, He says that he remembers our sins no more. He says he's removed them as far as the east is from the west, and we are forgiven once for all. So then God moves in as our heavenly father to discipline us. What can that mean? Is it a reaction to our sins? No, he said, I remember your sins no more. Is it a response to our disobedience? No, he has taken away our sins once for all. So what's going on? with God's discipline. Well, quite simply put, God's discipline is training for the future. It is not punishment for the past. Let me say that again. It's training for the future. God's discipline is training for the future, but it is not punishment for the past. A very important distinction there. So, you know, people talk about uh, Hebrews and God's discipline, the passage there, a chapter on God's discipline in the book of Hebrews. And, you know, it explains very clearly there that God disciplines us because he loves us. He invests in us. He cares about us. What father doesn't discipline their own children? But I think the problem for us, Golden, is that we we get used to a certain kind of discipline which borders on punishment, sometimes even shame and condemnation from our earthly fathers, from our earthly parents. They're not perfect. No parent is. And so sometimes perhaps they've punished us out of anger. Sometimes perhaps they've disciplined us and gone too far with it. Uh, Of course, many of us have stories of that sort of uh, abuse or, uh, you know, that sort of uh, conduct taking place in the homes in which we grew up in. So, you know, I think all of that is is worth considering. We bring that to the table. We impose that upon the God of the universe, and we assume that he's disciplining us like our own parents did. We have to remember that God's ways are not our ways. His ways are better. When he says, fathers, do not exasperate your children, well, he's already modeling that. He doesn't exasperate us. He doesn't bring us to the point of exasperation where we are frustrated, exhausted, and it's not working. No, God's discipline works uh, because it's based on his love and it's training for the future. You think about Jesus with his disciples. The same word disciple is where we get uh, our word discipline. It comes from the same root. Well, was Jesus verbally abusing them, beating them up? Of course not. Uh, But he was molding them and shaping them and investing in their lives. And so it is with God, our Heavenly Father, as he disciplines us since we are his children. So, uh, you know, at the center of this question, Golden, is the finished work of the cross. And it is finished. So discipline is not a reaction to our sins. Instead, Uh, It is God's discipline that changes our thinking and our actions long term. So what if God is always disciplining us? I mean, if it's not a reaction to sin, maybe we're always under the discipline of the Lord. There's a thought worth thinking. We are always under the discipline of the Lord. Well, that changes what we might think and feel about the word discipline itself. So I think we should crave the discipline of God. I think we should crave the discipline of our Heavenly Father because when we understand it, we will surely want it in comparison to thinking those old thoughts that got us nowhere anyway. So thanks for your question tonight, Golden. I hope that's an encouragement to you, and I hope that helps as you interact with your Bible study group.